was a trial in progress um, of an adjuvant study in uh, renal cell carcinoma. Um, we um, own just uh, started uh, accruing patients earlier this year, um, and as you know, uh, there's not any current uh, standard of care treatments in the adjuvant setting for kidney cancer. And so um, this study, as well as others, are aimed at um, improving um, adjuvant treatment uh, for kidney cancer. Um, the study itself randomizes patients to either pembrolizumab alone as a monotherapy or uh, placebo. Um, and since you know, there's no standard of care um, treatment currently recommended um, for kidney cancer, the placebo arm is basically standard of care. Um, we do have to mention, though, however, that uh, there, ha there has been a recent approval of sunitinib in the last month um, from the FDA in this adjuvant setting. Um, sunitinib in S-TRAC was shown to have uh, a benefit in delaying dis um, disease rec recurrence, so extending disease uh, uh, disease-free survival. However, um, it does not improve overall survival. And so, um, you know, there's been a lot of debate about um, whether or not the, um, the, the sunitinib approval in the space will lead to delays in accrual for these adjuvant trials. Um, given that there's some controversy about uh, the benefit as well as um, uh, the, the toxicities associated with sunitinib treatment. Um, we find that um, you know, we're, we're hoping that uh, enrollment will not be delayed for these adjuvant um, immunotherapy trials. Um, so back to Keynote 564, um, this trial um, is really looking at uh, disease-free survival as its primary endpoint and randomizing patients to either pembrolizumab or placebo, as I mentioned, um, and, uh, and, and aimed at uh, enrolling um, high-risk patients with high-risk features, so um, uh, uh, pathologic stage T2, um, uh, with grade uh, uh, four or higher, um, or pathologic stage T3 or four with any grade um, features, um, or any nodal metastasis at the time of surgery. Um, this, in, in addition, this trial will also enroll patients who um, have had oligometastatic uh, disease and have had uh, metastasectomies, um, uh, removal of their metastatic disease, um, and are otherwise um, NED, so at no evidence of disease at the time of um, enrollment. Um, so this, this is a unique feature um, of uh, Keynote 564 and uh, we think hopefully it will accrue um, a good number of patients. Um, patients will be stratified for their um, for meta um, having metastatic disease and also uh, based on their tumor staging.